Hi everyone, uh, my name is James. I am one of the lecturers on the Diagnostic Radiography Programme at Leeds and also a state registered radiographer. Um, in this short five minute video, I'm just going to give you a little bit of an insight into my career, um, my interests, my specialities, and really to give you a bit of an idea of where um, radiography can take you. So I um, started my radiography career or my life as a radiographer back in 1999, so 21 years ago, in a very similar position to where you are now, hoping to come to study um, radiography at Leeds, which I did. So I was a student um, from 1999 to 2002, and I got my first job um, at the place where I trained, which is at St. James's in, um, in Leeds, um, and as well as working a little bit at um, Seacroft Hospital and Leeds General Infirmary, I really got a very, very good look at the diversity and the range of experiences you can have as a radiographer. Uh, as one of the biggest teaching hospitals in Europe, um, the hospitals uh, at Leeds um, really, really gave me a big insight um, into what we could do as radiographers and really set me on my way in my career. So as well as doing sort of the general roles of a radiographer, so working in the x-ray departments and on the wards, the operating theatres, etc, etc, um, my first real interest um, in a speciality was as a reporting radiographer. So I did my postgraduate certificate in reporting of um, x-rays of the musculoskeletal system. Um, so we were reporting radiographer in, in MSK back then. As well as that, I had an interest in forensic radiography. So I did a lot of coroner work, um, suspected child abuse. I also spent some time in the vascular, in the interventional department, but it was reporting um, that really um, was my, my main interest. Um, I did also spend some time as the lead radiographer for the transition to the computed radiography um, systems. So back in the early 2000s, we were actually still using film and chemicals. And I actually led the transition to towards digital radiography, um, which helped me in my next next role because it gave me a background into sort of more technology um, based subjects. So in 2007, I actually left Leeds to go in a completely different direction and I went and ended up working in um, a GP's um, practice. So it's a large GP's practice with an x-ray and ultrasound service, which I effectively led. So I was um, taking the x-rays um, and running the ultrasound service or having staff run the ultrasound service. And it was this first few years while I was there that I actually completed my master's degree. Um, so I learned to train to report chest x-rays and abdomen x-rays. So that meant I was actually able to effectively report all the investigations, all the patients that came through the door um, as well. Um, it was during this time as well that I started to get my first interest in teaching. So I started off by doing little guest lectures um, at several different universities and um, also writing some material, getting involved in, in some assessments. And in 2012, I actually got my first job um, as a lecturer and I actually moved to Sheffield Hallam University um, where I was there for um, about um, oh, about seven, eight years in the end. Um, so while I was there, my roles included um, undergraduate programme lead. I also did admissions for a while. I got quite a lot of international experience running international programmes before moving to, um, to Leeds in 2019. Um, between 2018 and 2020, I also had a part-time role setting up and running the UK's first um, reporting academy for radiographers, which also allowed me to, to do some research around that and, and how we train reporting radiographers. But it also meant I was actually able to go and present it internationally. Um, and I took the re research we did there and I presented it at Toronto. Um, and well, before COVID, I was due to go to Australia as well this year to present some research there um, as part of a, a, an organising committee that runs an international conference in advanced practice. So today, my role at Leeds University is I teach predominantly on the undergraduate programme. I'm lead for admissions currently, but I also teach on the postgraduate and master's programme, um, teaching image interpretation. 
I still do a lot of research uh, and research is one of my main interests. I also have a keen international um, interest and do a lot of work about developing international links with other universities and different countries. So really, um, my career of the past 20 years or so has been really quite diverse. Um, I've, I've, I've experienced a lot in that time. Um, and the way I've done that is I've kind of um, tried to embrace every experience that's come across me. There are some things that interest me more than others. OK, but those interests that I really had, I pursued, I put the work in and in the, in the end, it's kind of reaped its own rewards. OK, so hopefully that was that was of interest and of use, just giving you a bit of an overview of my career as a radiographer.